at last. Finally, we've waited. Oh, hey, it's a new name. I used to work there. We've waited so long and it's finally here. Everyone, it's story mode time again. Oh, I have missed it. Welcome, welcome everybody to Kingdom Hearts 3 and Story Mode, which is a uh, series I've been doing on this channel for like a year and a half now, it's been a while, uh, in which I've been playing through all of the Kingdom Hearts games in order of release in a sort of story-focused fashion, all in preparation to finally play Kingdom Hearts 3 for the first time. And now we're finally here, kind of took a while. But we're here now. If, by the way, you are interested in watching those uh, previous Kingdom Hearts game playthroughs, I will link to a playlist below that has all of the episodes. But that's a lot of Kingdom Hearts to watch, and I don't blame you if you don't have time for that. So, if instead you would like something much shorter, something a little more concise, just to remember the important story points before we go into this, I also made a summary video, a big whole lore recap. It's a little under 40 minutes long. I'm actually very proud of it. I think I did a reasonably good job of trying to like crunch it all down and make the story a little bit more concise and focused and easier to follow. So like check that out if you haven't had a chance yet. I hope you will enjoy it. But anyway, finally, here we are. And I am so ready for this because again, haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3 yet. I was waiting for the Remind DLC to drop because I figured might as well wait and play the whole thing at once and now it's here and we can finally do it. I'm so excited. Like it just dropped an hour ago. <laughs> I've been so impatient all week and finally we're here. We're gonna do it. Now because I've not played this before, uh, just one quick request for those of you who have played this. Uh, let's all like Please try to avoid posting spoilers down in the comments. Not only because this series is way more fun if I don't know what's going to happen, like more fun for me and more fun for everybody watching, but also I know for a fact that there are some people watching that have been watching this Kingdom Hearts series that also have not played 3, and uh, it's more fun for them too if they get to like have those first time experiences along with everybody else. So let's all be considerate and nice and not spoil anything and let everyone be surprised. I'm excited to be surprised. It's Kingdom Hearts, you never know what on earth is going to happen. Ah, uh, so good seeing all this again. Let's just enjoy this for a bit here. We've played so much Kingdom Hearts. It's felt weird not... <laughs> like, when we rebranded this channel as Playframe, Kingdom Hearts is the first episode that dropped on the channel. It was the, it was the thing we started with. And for like the entire first year of Playframe, it was like all Kingdom Hearts all the time. But these last six months, we've been waiting for Reminds to come out and there's been like no Kingdom Hearts. And it's, like, it's been a drought. I've been missing this silly thing. So this feels like coming home. This feels right. I'm ready to finally know what happens and wrap this whole darn thing up. It's a long intro. <laughs> Gosh, I still can't believe Riku and Mickey have branded briefcases. Uh, everyone, this is going to be fun. Yeah! Let's do this thing! Ah. Feels like coming home. Oh, hey! Look at that. Kingdom Hearts does remember Kyrie exists sometimes. 
<laughs> oh, we're here. That music is nice. Dang. Okay. Uh, I think we're all set up here. Let me make sure my configurations are all... Yep. Yep. Good. Okay. Are we ready to do this darn thing finally? I sure am. Let's go. Now, I have decided to play this on proud mode again because I have it on good authority that at least the original release of Kingdom Hearts 3 was relatively easy and that, like, uh, secret endings are a little bit easier to access on proud mode anyway, so I'm sure we can do it. What could go wrong? By the way, special thanks once again to the wonderful Kaloguru for giving me so much guidance <laughs> on these Kingdom Hearts games, especially the ones that I've not actually played before or haven't played in a very long time. Their guidance has been immensely helpful. But let's begin! Uh, cool, okay. Sorry, just looking at what it looks like on my capture here. It does not look the same as it does on my TV. Gotta get this right. No, it's, it's fine, default's good. Okay. We go! Oh, that's fun. Hashtag all for one, hashtag one for all. Wait, wait, is this a built-in social media? What is this? I'm going to need an explanation for this as we get in further into the game, please. <laughs> Whew, that is pretty, though. I don't know what this world is, but it's gorgeous. Have you heard of the ancient Keyblade War? Huh? Of course I have. Long ago, Keyblade wielders waged a war over the ownership of light. Yeah, the Master's favorite story. I wonder what they planned on doing with Kingdom Hearts after... making it appear. Who knows? I don't get why anyone would initiate a war. So... You know the Lost Masters. Who? They're the ones who started the Keyblade War. Never heard of them. Where'd you hear about that? Or... They're the ones for whom... The war started. I'm not following you. You can drop the facade. Facade? On that land shall darkness prevail and light expire. A prospective Keyblade Master should know this. If you say so. The gazing eye sees the fate of the world. The future. It's already been written. Huh. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Besides, who's to say I can't change it? And maybe light will prevail. <laughs> Pretty confident. But things aren't in your favor. Perhaps, but unlike darkness, there is more light than meets the eye. You might be surprised. Oh, I hope so. Ooh, that animation's starting to look pretty nice. 
This team has settled into the Unreal Engine. In retrospect, again, real smart on their part to, like, take some practice runs with back cover and such. To get a feel for the new engine and everything. Looks like it has paid off big time. They can take your world. They can take your heart. Cut you loose from all you know. But if it's your fate, then every step forward will always be a step closer to home. Ah, shoot, wait, no, I have to talk over this, so. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to talk over this lovely music because, uh, boy, UMG just really, really loves copyright claiming Yutata Hikaru songs. And it's unfortunate that I need to talk over this because this is my favorite opening to any Kingdom Hearts game. Like, I, I did see this, like, uh, that, like, I tried to avoid spoilers in just about every single way I could for Kingdom Hearts 3, and I've been actually really successful at that. I know very little going into this. I did allow myself to watch the intro to it, though, and I love it, because, like, if you have been, like, I highly recommend if you've not seen this before, go look up just the opening by itself, uh, just with the music and the song and everything, because it's, it's so good. It... And what's so good about it is that, like, like these game's stories have been really scattered all over the place, and it's sometimes really hard to find the central thread that ties them all together, which is what makes, like, Kingdom Hearts 3 such a challenging thing <laughs> from a storytelling perspective. And what I love about this intro is that, like, if you've not played any of the Kingdom Hearts games, a lot of this stuff is still going to mean nothing to you. It's not going to catch you up. If you have played them and you know what happens, then this intro does such an amazing job at condensing the important core thread that ties all of these disparate stories together, and it shows it to you in plain sight. There is the Xehanort making plans, and here is how that plan affects all of these characters you've met and known and gotten attached to, and like, just in order. It's like, and it just communicates all that really quickly and efficiently in ways that like fans will recognize instantly. And that's so good. It's so impressive. But yeah, I love this intro. It's so good. Watch it elsewhere if you've not seen this before. While we're here, though, and while I'm still having to talk over this, which just sucks. Uh, so if you've not watched any of these story mode playthroughs before, but these are somewhat story focused uh, in that we try to cut out a lot of the tedious, not fun to watch stuff. I, like we'll, if we're getting to any places where it's just like repetitive fights or me being lost or something, we're going to cut all that stuff out and just try to like uh, strip it down to just the fun part to watch of the of the whole experience. Uh, we don't we don't cut out too much. Again, if there's anything interesting or worth showing off, we always leave it in. But that's usually what we do. Uh, another thing that we often do is like, like I am a professional animator. I've been animating in film and games for ten years at this point, uh, and so like like and I run a whole animation channel called New Frame Plus. Uh, so I talk about the animation in these uh, pretty frequently as well. So that's a fun thing to do from time to time when it's just <laughs> time to do a bunch of fights. Uh, another thing that I've been doing, which has been a real fun tradition and I want to keep it going, is uh, I happen to know a lot of Disney animation trivia. Um, like, I I've just done a lot of research into Disney animated features and their production. So uh, when we get to kind of points where I got to wander around and fight for a while, sometimes we'll uh, take that opportunity to just uh, talk about some Disney trivia that's relevant to whatever world we're in. Although I'm probably not going to worry about keeping it relevant to worlds we're in as much this time because... I'm fresh out of Hercules trivia. <laughs> and also, I've just got a lot of random bits from a bunch of movies that uh, I haven't had a chance to talk about yet, so maybe we'll dig into some of those. Also, I got some pretty long production stories this time, so if we need to get into a, like a Disney history story time for a really long stretch, I'm prepared. Okay, I think we made it. <laughs> uh... Hey, there's our boy. Wow, and it looks like stained glass for the first time. <laughs> there are seven hearts to save.
Tilt L a little to walk or a lot to run. You can adjust the camera by tilting right. Yes. Jump, press circle. Got it. Cool. Yeah, look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm just kind of like animation nerd me. I'm just sort of looking at Sora's moveset here. It's like he's actually, for the first time, he's got like a starts and stops to his uh, run cycle. Like he kind of shifts his weight to like, I'm going to start running this way. Now I'm going to stop. It's so wild, like that this series has never had that. Now it does. That's cool. Uh, when a green situation command appears above the list of commands, that means you can press triangle to perform a special action. And where's my reflection? Oh, it went away. Oh, there you are. Okay. Can't hide from me. What do you desire? Huh. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> do I desire Mickey Mouse? Conflict with Riku. <laughs> or Best Buds. You know, we've enjoyed all of these things from time to time, but it feels like the true spirit of Kingdom Hearts is this good trio right here. Oh, okay. Choose balance. Choose vitality. Choose wisdom. Okay. So, magic focus, physical focus, or balance. Now, well, let's go with balance. Why not? Balance. A body and mind of equal merit and equal potential. Is this what you desire? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Huh, okay. What are we choosing now here? I love that they're presenting it as memories. What power do you seek? Hmm. Promises? Getting beat up by Roxas or Caligaru? <laughs> uh, mystic uh, warrior or guardian? Huh. You know, it's actually a tough call. I bet this, like, informs choices about, like, what abilities we get in what order again, I bet. Right? That's what it's done... It, that's what it did in one, anyway. Mmm. I'm going to say... You know what? Give me Guardian. Keep me alive, please. And also, pinky promises are good. The power of the guardian. Kindness to aid friends. And that's it. <laughs> Is this the power you seek? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I've been looking forward to this all day. All week. I guess all year, technically, but... Uh, what are we choosing now?
What kind of adventure do you seek? Hmm. Choose your playstyle. Uh, your answer will determine your playstyle. Usual adventure is playing without using the DLC premium menu. Oh, that was a, which is a new thing added in Remind, I think. I don't know a lot of details about it. Play using the uh, easy adventure, play using the easy codes in the DLC premium menu. Use features like auto HP MP recovery for an easier game experience. Ah, we shouldn't do that. Or uh, challenging adventure, play using the pro codes in the DLC premium menu. Use features like defense always being set to zero for a more challenging game experience. No, thank you. Usual it is, please. Give me vanilla. <laughs> I am basic. Usual adventure. A familiar and straightforward path. Sounds great. This is totally the... Uh, is the same thing I just saw before. Y yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yes. Let's go. Is this who you are? I mean, we'll find out, huh? These always have a pretty slow start, so we'll probably go pretty long today, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be doing Kingdom Hearts, like, Monday through Friday from now until this game's done. So, uh... Strap in. <laughs> oh, that's nice. This is so cool. So many little visual callbacks. Look how cool that looks. Sorry, I'm probably going to say that a lot. Regulars here will know. <laughs> okay, combat basics. Press X while attack is selected to attack with source keyblade. After landing an attack, you can keep pressing the button to chain together a combo. Right finisher at the end. Uh, press square without moving its oral block. Uh, if tilting, dodge. Great. Uh... Lock on enemies with R1. Once locked off, press R2. Okay, cool. Uh, d yes. All right. Ah, now I remember. Ah, the old ways. Whoa! You look different. Have you done something with your skin? Hey! That's okay, I've changed too. I'm attacking your head now instead of your hand. Look at us. I'm really low on health though, so um... I guess I should start fighting a little smarter, huh? Evading. Perhaps. Now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, sorry. Old habits. Got to attack your hand. Boy, I really feel like Kingdom Hearts does not get enough credit for how just fantastic the character animation is. Like, I know I sing its praises all the time, but I feel like I don't hear other people say it nearly enough. What are you doing? I don't want to die. Stop it. No. Let's just dodge for a while. We're on proud mode. I can't be goofing around. Okay. Finish it. Win! Yeah! Do you seek further guidance? I'm good for now. If you get stuck, you can try the tutorials whenever you like by selecting tutorials from the title screen. Wonderful. In order to defeat Xehanort, there are allies we must gather, acting now to rouse them from their slumber. We have discussed this before, Sora. Mm. Your Mark of Mastery exam was conducted in the hopes you would acquire the power to wake them. 
However, the darkness nearly took control of you, and your grasp of your new abilities leaves much to be desired. Oh. Furthermore, Xehanort <laughs> nearly made you his vessel, and in the oh. process stripped you of most of the power you had gained by then. I suspect you have already noticed this, correct? But first, you must regain all the strength you have lost. Perhaps it is foolish to expect a complete recovery, but it is absolutely vital you perfect one power. The power of waking, which you failed to master during your exam. There's someone who lost his strength and found it again. A true hero to whom you ought to pay a visit. Perhaps he can point you in the right direction. Fool! <laughs> Got it! Hmm. You can count on us to take care of Sora. I would have it no other way. I put Sora in your hands. And don't forget, we'll put an eye on you. Oh, this is going to be lots of fun. It's not a vacation. <laughs> Let's go. Count on us. Yeah. King's Fool's back at it again. <laughs> High detail renderings of gummy ships still remain funny to me. <laughs> How are we supposed to get there now? What? I thought you knew. Looks like all the old highways are closed. Didn't Master Yen Sid say that Sora should trust the guidance his heart gives? Come on, Sora. Let's roll. Um. Hey, would you get serious? Give me a break. I'm trying. These things take time. <sighs> well, since we've already been before, why don't you try picturing our friends like we're there? Hmm. <clears throat> well? Sorry, I got nothing. What did you expect? <clears throat> May your heart hmm? be your guiding key. Huh? What's that? Master Yen Sid always said that, right before we went off on any of our real important adventures. Really? Ring a bell? <coughs> Maybe I just imagined it. May my heart be my guiding key. <laughs> I've got it! All right, Olympus Coliseum, here we come. Eh, sure. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? At long last, the time had come. The planets were edging into perfect alignment. And the plan Hades devised 18 years ago was about to reach fruition. The fates had predicted this very future, the day he would seize control of Olympus and rule over all the cosmos. Hades' previous attempts, using Terra, Cloud, and Orin to advance his plans for conquest, had failed. The hour was not yet right. But now the planets were aligned, and nothing could possibly go wrong. A wave of darkness slants down from their celestial rank, and one by one, Hades freed the Titans from their prison. Some of them, the same monstrosities that Sora and his friends had already fought and bested before. But both the Titans and his longing for vengeance against Zeus reinvigorated. Hades began his attack on Olympus. Ah, uh, that's cool. They did like an intro the way it was in the actual Hercules film. That's great. Uh, hang on. All right. Hello, worlds. This is Sora. Me and other two half pints are on a new adventure. Hashtag it begins. Hashtag Donald. Hashtag Goofy. Hashtag pint and a half. This remains weird. <laughs> 
But I'm here for it. It's Kingdom Hearts. Bring oh. on the weird. Uh... No fanfare? <sighs> nope. Looks like we missed the Colosseum. Mm. You open the gate. <laughs> I was a little off again. Sorry. We'll find him. But we need to go. Yeah, up is the usual direction. Well, never hurts to have your head in the clouds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, we're leaving. Whew. All right, here we are again. I will say the high fidelity rendering on all these characters is something I'm still getting used to and I'm deciding how much I like. It works kind of well with Sora. It it looks a bit doll like on a lot of the uh, a lot of the original Kingdom Hearts characters in a way that I'm not sure is quite as successful as the original like Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep look and such. On Donald and Goofy especially, it's looking very strange. Some of it's also just the animation on them is a little weird like some of their animation choices on those characters and their performances are don't feel right for those characters so it, that adds to the weird but I know, I, i'm sure after some time staring at it it'll feel uh it'll feel normal wait what are they what's he doing here is he like oh he's shimmying past him oh that's a nice cute detail i like it okay what is this <laughs> broken cool look at that though that's pretty hello Casting magic. You will learn a variety of magic on your adventure. To cast it, use those to select magic from the command menu and then choose from the list that appears. And magic to place the MP gauge. If it runs out, you'll automatically begin recharging over time. You can speed up casting by assigning magic to the story. Okay. Let's cast magic of some sort. Go! Yeah! <laughs> What's water? I don't remember a water spell. What does this do? Oh, cool. Okay. Ah, it's good seeing those very pretty <laughs> effects again. Look at all that good stuff. Ow. Quit it. Let's try water again. Hey, I says, let's... Mm, let's try water again. Yeah. Neat. I need to figure out how that spell works. And assign it to a hotkey, because... Seems like something I'll like. Did we win? No? Where? Okay. And... Ha-ha! Take that, proud mode. To... Or uh, open the main menu to use and equip items you find. Neat. How do I equip these spells in... Whoa, okay. Nice menu. Um, abilities... It's probably customized is the one I'm looking for. Oh, nice. We have this back again. Ah, right on. I loved this old thing. Um, cool. Uh, but we're probably looking for customize. Yeah, here we go. Uh, shortcuts A. Cool. Let's put fire on, let's put fire on triangle and let's put water on. Yeah. And let's put potion right here until we get a cure spell. I would love to have a cure spell. Where can I find a cure spell? Historically, proud mode has been at its hardest near the beginning. <laughs> when you don't have cure. Free running, that's new. Press uh, while moving the left stick. You can automatically climb up small ledges and hop up across narrow footholds. You don't need to make the jumps yourself. Hit a dead end, don't give up. You can run up walls that are faintly glowing. Wonderful. Let's do that thing. Charge! Ah, that was easy. Eh. Give me... What are those little pink bubbles. Are those experience now? Is the green ones are health. Maybe that's magic. Maybe that's magic now. Hang on. No. Sora. 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 There we go. Okay. Enough dawdling. Let's move forward. We got a lot of game to play here. After I break this thing. Okay. Now we can go.
I think we might be going in circles. Hmm. So what? Did I make a turn at the wrong rock? Hey, Hercules! Where are you? Wow, man. I love how elaborate those have gotten. <laughs> Gorgeous. Um? Oh. Wow, that smoke looked cool. All right. I know I dotted my I's, crossed my T's, zeroed the hero. So what gives? Who could possibly be trying to give me a migraine by yodeling that Yutz's name? Really? Hades? That's <laughs> <sighs> just you. Maybe. It's just us? Even for you, that's cold. Don't forget. I can always turn up the heat! Wait, if Hades is here, then where's her? What is everyone's infatuation with that don't? Ah, uh, you know, never mind. Never mind, I'm cool, I'm good. Because Wonder Boy will be out of my hair soon enough. So you're up to no good again. Of course he is. You're back. Oh, easy. What is this, Sparta? Kind of on a schedule. Don't have time to toss around the old fire and brimstone. The whole cosmos is basically waiting for me to, you know, conquer it. Poor Hades. He thinks he can actually pull it off this time. Where are my titans? Show me your power! Well, ah, that sent him sailing. <laughs> sailing right to where I left. Ah, no biggie. Nice work, boys. So, back to the whole cosmic coup thing? Huh? Really? Are you kidding? Jeez Louise. Seriously, when it rains, it pours. Okay, who's the new pest? Hey now, that ain't no way to say hello, especially to your old friends. Hey. Ah. Perfect. Now I gotta put up with you two. Funny, I don't remember you doing me any memorable favors. So, you can keep your heartless this time. I'm going back to my original plan, all right? So, toodaloo. <laughs> Exits that away. Hey, it was great seeing you. Happy trails! We are not here for you. I have my own business to attend to. All I need to know is if there is a distinctive black box somewhere in this world. Black box, huh? Hmm. Black box, black box, black box. Hmm. Wait. Don't tell me. You're after the one Zeus hit on Earth? Possibly. If I were, where might it be? You know, I bet. Like, we're still kind of in, like, a Disney world that was originally 2D, so making that super high fidelity, beautifully rendered 3D, it's gonna look a little weird. Or it doesn't, ha or it doesn't have to, but it does. I bet the 3D, like, Pixar-based worlds, and, like, 3D Disney worlds, are gonna look pretty sharp. That is my prediction. 
Phew. See? Found him. Yeah, I guess this counts. <laughs> Let me down! Hmm? Just a second. <laughs> you guys are here. Sora, Donald, Goofy. You literally dropped in. Gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks! Like the catch. Yeah. Thanks, Herc. But what's going on? <sighs> Take a guess. Starts with an H. Ah, I get the picture. Actually, we bumped into the apester on the way here. <laughs> he said something about conquering the whole cosmos. All of it, huh? Nice of him to show a little self-restraint. Well, whatever he's planning, I'll send him running back across the sticks. <laughs> That's our Herc. It's sort of uncanny, like the, uh, the Disney character performances, like there's details in there that are really sharp, that are like better than anything they've done with the, uh, Disney character animation in the past is nice, well-observed, like, references to the way that those characters would have moved. And then there's so much of the rest of it that just feels weirdly unnatural and uncanny somehow in ways that the previous games didn't, oddly. It's... I, I can't put my finger on it exactly. I'm gonna probably spend the whole game trying to figure this out. Those shining patches on the ground are called save points. You can refill your HP and your gates by, by standing on the light. Great. That sounds great. And it's a Moogle shop. Also good. Let's go to the... Hey, Thieves. Let's go to the Moogle shop. Moogle. Give me your wares. Um, workshop, huh? Let's go to buy first. Potions. Great. How many of these do I have right now? Oh, wait, I have one? Could use some more of those, I feel like. Uh, fantasy tent. Shield belt. Ability ring. All probably pretty good. I'm gonna get another potion, though, just because, again... No cure spells right now. What's the workshop? Uh, at the Moogle shop, don't forget to drop by the workshop where you can use synthesis materials you collect in your travels to create new items. When you visit the workshop, you'll automatically leave any synthesis materials you collected with the Moogles. Based on what you've collected, you may be presented with rewards. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, yeah, it seems like a lot of their systems are harking, harkening back to like old Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 stuff, which that's fun. Collector's goal complete. Uh, nice. Love it. Well, it's a humble start, but gotta start somewhere. Okay, let's get out of here. And let, uh, prize postcard. Okay. All right. Uh, what the hell? Let's go a little further. It's day one. It's a celebration. So, Sora, is there a reason you guys are visiting? I'm guessing it's not just for the cheese and olives. Oh, yeah. It sounds like somebody forgot. Black Sora! I just took my time remembering. Herc, I came here so I could ask you something. Ask me? Yeah. Do you remember the last time we were together? You were feeling down and out. How'd you get your strength back? When you jumped in and saved Meg? Huh. That's tough. All I know is that she was in trouble. Suddenly, I wanted to save her with all my heart, but it's not like I could tell you how. Oh, man. What's wrong? All my strength is gone from me, too. That's why I need you, because I was hoping you might have a solution or something. I'm sorry, Sora. <sighs> Ah, they're cute. Let's talk later. Right. Once we've dealt with these guys. Hey, they're not doing fade to black after cutscenes going into gameplay now. 
Seamless transitions, look at that. All right, if you tilt L in midair and press square to air slide toward walls and poles, you can trigger special moves known as flow motion. Hey, it's back. Press square while in flow motion to do a super slide that lets you quickly traverse great distances. You can also press X while in flow motion to perform powerful flow motion attacks. Let's see how this stuff works. And if I can remember how to do any of it. Hey. Uh, yep, still works and looks cool. That'll be fun. Let's, um, boy. Water! Ow. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> That's cute. Hey. I mean, it's cute, but, like, stop being that way. Hey, I'm level two. That's fun. Thank you, Donald. Much appreciated. I guess these are fire type. I shouldn't, like, shoot fire at them, huh? Come here. Oh. I want to kill you. Die! Thank you. Okay. Let me start using some more magic here. Get in the habit. That's kind of cool. Okay. I love the effects animation of everything. Can you mix and match spells now? Like you could in, uh... The Aqua one. You know what I'm talking about. Hey! We didn't die. Hercules! <sighs> You're okay. Meg! Boy, that didn't look so fun. No, not with the Heartless involved. We're just lucky our friend showed up. Well, what do you know? Sora, Donald, Goofy. <laughs> Guess I owe you a big thank you. Meg, you need to stay someplace safe. We'll search the city and make sure everyone manages to get clear of the fire. Be careful, Wonder Boy. I will. So, you guys in? Of course we're in! We are heroes! Mm -hmm. Break a leg then. Heroes. Mm. Phil, you should go with Meg. Couldn't afford him, huh? <laughs> That's okay. You gotta keep her safe. Hmm? I hear a voice. From which way? Over that way. Hmm? Help me! <gasps> oh no! There's a little girl caught in the fire. Let's go! Wait! Running's too slow. Uh, then what's the other choice? Hmm. Oh. Get on that. That. Um. It's a child? Hope so. Like this? That's good. Now hold on tight. Whoa! <laughs> Her... Maybe we should. I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Well. <laughs> okay. Thank you for saving me. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we'll just assume the cute girl dodged the flying statue. We better check and see if anyone else needs us. Mm -hmm. Well, if it isn't Sora and the King's Pawns. Huh? <gasps> Maleficent! Pete! Are you the reason the Heartless are here? Certainly not. Say, Maleficent, I don't know about his sidekicks, but Kid Keyblader here looks way punier than the last time we saw him. <laughs> I say we finish him off while we still can. Waste no time with the boy. He's inconsequential. Hey. We have a far more pressing matter to attend to. Hmm? 
Oh, we got to find that black box. Be silent, you fool. Mm. As for you three, we shall meet again. When I have time for such trifles. Yeah, and you's better get your act together before then. Later, twerps. Wait! Ugh. Man, Jim Cummings is a treasure. Huh. It's fine. I can take it. Gorge, it sure don't sound like it. Did Pete saying mean things bother ya? It's fine. I can take it. You gotta get stronger. We know ya. You can take it. Don't say that. Oh, I just said what he said. I can take it. We probably can take it. Y'all, it's Kingdom Hearts 3, and I'm excited. Okay, and I'm excited. But we're going to call it for today, and we're going to come back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for some more story mode. Kingdom Hearts 3, it's, oh, it's finally here. Y'all, I'll see you later, and goodbye.